Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Antohai Quantum Healing. I am Ascended Master Antohai, and this is Ascended Master Shay. And we are going to walk you through a very simple uh, experiment here. We've been diving into some of my favorite stones. And our first episode was all about selenite. We're still going to be working with selenite. The only difference is we're going to be seeing how when you apply selenite in different ways, it affects the body. So what we did is we took uh, Shay and we put her through a scanner. And on the scanner, we got a, a general picture of her aura. And we're going to review that before and after, after we do about a 10 minute experiment here. So here I got different sizes of selenite, different shapes as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have Shay lay here for about 10 minutes with these particular pieces of selenite on her body. And then we're going to do a scan and see what happens when, when just the stones are laying on her energetic system. All right. So let, can Shay, can you relax, please? All right. So one of the most important things is the shape really helps kind of determine where you can use your stones, particularly if you're going to be laying on the body. You want to have shapes like these, like very palmy stones. Um, and always remember that your stone has consciousness, okay? So you really want to make sure that when you're placing these stones in certain areas, you're placing them with intention. You're, you're thanking the stone and saying, okay, well, I really appreciate you for... <sighs> bestowing this energy upon Shay right now. Thank you, Selenite. I'm gonna put another one right at her heart chakra, I feel. I have a bigger piece right here. This is actually a, a candle holder, but it's a pretty decent chunk of Selenite that I got in Sedona. So I think I wanna focus this one more so at her feet, so I can focus clearing out. You can open your legs just a little bit. Focus clearing out her earthly chakra. Okay. And then here I have a selenite wand that if I were healing her with regular energy healing, I could use this wand to really pinpoint. Oh, I want to focus here. It's kind of like a stylus pen that you move around and you move. But since I'm not going to be using the stylus pen just yet, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put it closest I'm going to lay it right between this area right here so it's like her third eye and her crown chakra but I'm just going to lay it next to her head it'll still have the same effect so now we're just going to wait for about 10 minutes and see what happens hello everyone so we're going to go ahead and review the scanner so on the left side we see Shay's uh, aura field before she gets a scan, before she gets the, the placement of the selenite on her and she lays for 10 minutes and then on the right is after the 10 minutes, okay? So when she starts off, she has 93% balance for her auric field and she has 52 joules. So when we're done after lace, uh, just placing the selenite for 10 minutes, she goes down to 50 joules but she goes up to 96% balance. And that's just laying the stones on top of her. And we can see that something starts happening um, after she has the stone placement in her crown chakra. We can see like a few things start being moved in the lower chakras around. Let's go look at her female side. Her female side was really distorted, very distorted. And you see how the selenite started really bringing down the crown chakra areas. It started kind of rebalancing the energy. So there was a lot of energy on the back side, and it was stealing a lot of energy from this upper half. And after the placement, it started rebalancing that energy around. Let's see the right side, the male side of the consciousness. Same thing here. Massive influx of energy starts going down after a little while. Everything starts balancing itself out with the chakras. Had she spent maybe another 20 minutes just with those stones, those stones would have rebalanced her whole entire auric field to be balanced. Now let's see what happens to her chakras before and after. 
So before we can see that she was pretty much in balance anyway, not too much drastic happened between then and after. So here we see just laying the stones, it brought down some of the wattage of the, of the chakras, particularly like this throat chakra here that goes down a lot. And all the other chakras start bringing themselves in. We start seeing how the heart chakra got pushed more in alignment. Same thing with the sacral chakra and the solar plexus and the crown chakra. So same thing with the with the third eye. The only thing that was still out of balance by the time we were finished was the root chakra. But again, another 20 minutes would have drastically helped her. So let's look at her energy diagram. The orange line right around here is before, and then the purple line is after. We can see that she was kind of like skimming close before on the... Uh, aspects of her energy like they were getting in the orange a little bit and then after some time of just laying with the stones her energy spikes and changes all right and some of it is now not even as close in other areas towards the orange everything gets stabilized into the green all right same thing let's go look at what happens with the general area energy we still see that she gets, she's still good. She's in the green. So this is just a quick recap so you guys can see how selenite actually helps us rewrite our energy systems and rebalance ourselves, okay? Try it by laying it in your house or doing some crystal healing.